Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video I have for you guys is in a totally different setup and you guys can obviously see um, I am at my friend's house right now. I'm going to be doing a like a video about my tattoo slash talking video for you guys because I haven't done one of them in a long time video. Okay. So in Today today I'm going to be dipping the Grizzly Long Cut Wintergreen. You guys know this is my all-time favorite. If you watch uh, the dip channel, I don't post no more on that because there's no reason to because that was mine and dumbasses thing to do. So I'm I'm gonna be taking my last two of this, but no problem because I have a full can. Of it, so it is healing pretty good. I don't know if you guys can be able to see that. It's already starting to peel. You see the little spots of it starting to peel. I ain't going to pick it. I have not been picking at it. Instead, I'd show you guys that. You guys can see it. Now, can you see it now? There we go. It's really, really rough. It feels so weird because my skin is all poked up right there. And no, it does not hurt anymore. You guys can see I'm putting all my pressure on it. I'm squeezing it. It does not hurt. So, it does not hurt. I may have my neighbor slash friend when I go back to the apartment later to do one right here on my wrist of either love or a small one on my shoulder. I really want the small one on my shoulder too. If you guys are wondering, I am listening at the TV. I'm watching music videos on YouTube. So and see so let's just get on with this talk this is the last chew I got of my grizzly wintergreen right here but I have another can and today's mud jug not really I wish but spit bottle is a orange pop bottle thing so that is Obviously, today's mud jug. And no, I'm not feeling the best in the world. My chest feels like somebody is sitting on my chest. Um, basically, it's the bottom of my lungs. It feels like I cannot breathe. Um, I had to go to the hospital last night. They took... My blood, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It took my blood. Didn't hurt. They used a uh, blood or butterfly needle. Those of you that don't know what a butterfly needle is, it's uh, basically a needle that has uh, two things right here on the side of it, and it's like a smaller gauge, but it takes longer to get the blood out. So, And they basically just said it was a viral infection a uh, common cold basically you know my head's hurting my throat's hurting my body's aching everything on me hurts except for the tattoo the tattoo is the only thing that does not hurt on me even my face hurts like I feel puffiness around here my throat hurts I can barely breathe I can barely talk um, and they just said they just give me a Motrin last night at the hospital and then sent me on my way. Plus, I went to Moorhead Hospital, so you can't expect much from Moorhead. Moorhead Hospital, I don't like. And when I was pregnant with Shaylin, that's all they would do is poke me, prod on me. Wouldn't even hardly tell me what was wrong. So... So I quit going to Moorhead, and that's the reason why I went to Ashland to have her. So let's go ahead and 
pack of dips. If you guys can hear the music too, it's a, it's up on like it was on seven. So basically, I gotta repack it in, but here's my last chew in this can. You guys can see that. So let's go ahead and repack this. And there we go. That is totally better. So let's go ahead. Pack this in my lip. See how much totally better I look. So I need one more little filler because I like it huge when I took a dip. That's why I can really don't last me throughout the week. Because you guys can see how big cheese I take. I would even take the same amount when I was pregnant with Shayla. And yes, this is my first two of the morning because we're I've been sick today. I haven't really had a appetite or wanting to chew knowing that one thing we please and for two I gotta fix Shaylin another bottle so I'll be right back okay I'm back guys sorry about that yes I do pack two knives with me wherever I go <coughs> One's kind of like a carbon fiber material. Knowing I don't like carbon fiber. But I really like this one. The reason why I packed two with me. One reason is because dad gave me one. And then the other one. My cousin gave me a few weeks ago. So that is the reason why I pack two pocket knives with me. Then the other one is just this green one like this. And I use this one to open up cans and stuff. And it's this timber wolf right there. Stainless steel. As you guys can see, it's a regular pocket knife, and it is really, really, really sharp. Okay, so that's this one, and this carbon fiber material one is a switchblade. I love this and more, not more, but I like it better because, as you guys can see, it's a switchblade. And it's got the button right here. I'll show you guys again, right closer. It's got that button right here, and I can just push, and it's easier to open. And... 
The blade on this one is really, really sharp. You guys can see I'm rubbing my finger up and down the blade and back and forth on the blade. But not enough to cut me though. So I really like this one because it uh, is a switch blade. But I love this one more because Dad gave it to me. But this one here is just harder to open. So. See? It's like harder to open and close. I pack them on me for two reasons. One, because Dad and my cousin give them to me. Two, for protection. Because where I like walk up here to Dez's. Sometimes at night, I don't want nobody to try to attack me. So, that's why I pack two knives on my side. Everywhere I go, yes, I do take them off when I go into, like, the doctor's office, the hospital, something like that. I take them off my side. But if I'm going into the store, something like that, I don't take them off my side. Because I wear a hoodie over top of it, so... That's the reason why I have them on the side. Now back to what I was talking about. And fixing to show a fresh bottle. And yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. You ain't supposed to feed her eight ounces of a bottle. You're supposed to feed her four ounces, but it's two four ounce bottles, but just in one. Um, because she does eat four ounces before she goes to sleep. And she sleeps for like 30 minutes and then she wakes up and she eats the other four ounces. So I don't have to fix two bottles. I can just fix one whole bottle. And the formula I use is this one right here. Because this is the kind that my doctor, or her doctor put her on. So, and I use three scoops. Of it. Sorry guys. Hang on, I'm gonna sit you guys up beside the hairspray here. Sorry about that last clip. I accidentally stopped it because I hit my home button. But anyways, like I was saying, I take three scoops of it and put it in her bottle and I just spill it just a tiny bit all over my friend's couch and my friend's hoodie. So I just pour three scoops in that. That song you guys hear playing right now is Five Finger Death Punch. I just got searched on his TV, uh, Five Finger Death Punch. So. And I shake it really good. And then that is how I do her bottle. And she'll be waking up here in a minute for a bottle anyways. So, it's a nice, warm, fresh bottle. See, I got it all over his hoodie. So, where I haven't been feeling that good today, <coughs> you guys can probably see it in my face. I look really pale. That's because I totally feel like crap right now. But yeah, I also wanted to do a little video about 
that now you guys can see it filling a whole lot better. So the reason why that I got the tattoo is because I did the stick and poke as you guys remember my video about that and it just kept fading away so much that you couldn't even see that it was there anymore. So I had one of my neighbors to finish it for me. So that's what it looks like now. I want to have my friend slash neighbor to do one right here too. And he said that just to come over and go ahead and draw the outline. And that whatever the outline is, we'll talk about the price on how big the tattoo is. So yeah. That was this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm going to try to go ahead and get this converted for you guys so I can get it uploaded because I need to get something uploaded for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Go down and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.